Hey everyone and welcome to another video of me being a software engineer, a PhD student in computer science and a content creator. I have this gorgeous mirror wall in my room since I work from home. I want to have it really cozy and you can see that I have some big clothes on because as I said, why would I dress up if I work from home? And the first thing I do in the morning is eat breakfast here on my couch. I sometimes do it in the living room by... Yeah, I like to change it up to like change rooms and you know what I mean. Okay, this is a very weird angle, but what can you do? I have my phone on a stack of books. Um, so what I eat for breakfast, it's nothing fancy today. It's just like tuna spread and a piece of cheese. Then I have a glass of water to stay hydrated and a cup of my morning coffee, which is definitely a must. Okay, I found a better spot. All right, so what is on the agenda today? So the first thing is, since I'm a software engineer, I need to do some software engineering work. So uh, today I need to code. I've allocated about four hours for that because I also need to do some work for my PhD studies. Um, I got back reviews from a paper I was submitting. So I definitely need to check out the reviews. Basically, I already checked them out during the weekend. Um, they weren't bad, but I have to do some improvements, so I'm gonna work on that. And I need to all send it back within this week, because I won't have time for it afterwards. Um, because as I'm also a PhD student, I also need to teach, I need to uh, write reviews, and and, and 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 for the students I lead, and also for the students which I get to like review. And the last thing, I'm gonna have a meeting from the subject I was teaching, or I was teaching the labs as a PhD student because the semester has come to its end and um, students are only writing their final exams now. So we have some time to like look back and think about what went wrong, what went right, what we want to improve in the next year, what students were like were liking, what students said that was wrong and what we can improve for future students so that it's gonna be a better subject. I have totally forgotten about one thing about my content creation. I do have a video cut for today, so I don't have to cut a video that usually takes approximately one to three hours. Um, if it's a longer video or more difficult, it also can take the whole day or multiple days, but um, that's not something I have to do today. But I should film some footage of me coding um, so that's gonna be like static footage and I'm gonna code in the background because I use it for, you know, motivational music or for a voiceover. By the way, I also tried not eating breakfast for a while, basically for weeks, but I just couldn't make it. Like, I was so grumpy. I thought that I would overcome it and, you know, get used to it, but no, it never happened. I was totally grumpy. I think it's also not good for coding because with coding you have to think a lot, so... You need sugar or at least some energy. Okay, so I finished eating and it's time to start working. By the way, that cable is from a mic which goes to my camera, so it has to be there. And look at this fancy blanket which I've received from Nintendo. These are basically items and characters from Super Mario Bros. Wonder and I'm in love. It's so soft. And yeah, I'm basically trying out a bunch of keyboards because I'm um, trying to find the perfect one. So I ordered a lot of pre-looped keyboards and I'm gonna see which one fits the best. Okay, my work laptop is turned on and look at my gorgeous 57 inch screen from Samsung. It's the Samsung Odyssey G9 Neo and it is the best screen ever. I had the G9 OLED before and I'm definitely gonna do a video of me comparing the two of them. But I'm gonna tell you the G9 OLED is not good for coding as the text is not sharp enough and your eyes will be just focusing on blurry text. So we're gonna get headache and it's just generally not good for coding. So I don't recommend that one. But this one, it's not OLED, but it's gorgeous. Since I'm working in CyberSec and everything is under an NDA, I can't show you what I'm working on. And I also can't show you footage of me coding something in the background because I just want to be extra sure that I don't show anything that I'm not allowed to show. Yeah, I would say see you in four hours. Lunchtime, I have leftover curry. 
I don't have a dining table, so I have to eat in the living room on the small table. Oh, and he's meowing because he also wants food, so let me get that real quick. And before you start saying that I didn't give my cat food first, that's not true. I would have given him food first, but he was hiding somewhere. I was calling him, he was not coming. What if you would bite it and not just swallow it? That would be great. By the way, and now you're gonna be asking, so I don't have a dining table because I, well, I already like put it away, well, gifted it to someone and the new one didn't arrive yet. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Am I the only one who wants to sleep after lunch and not get back to coding? Well, anyway, like there's nothing a cup of coffee wouldn't fix or two cups of coffee. An espresso and a latte. So let's get into the reviews, which I'm absolutely not into. But it means that I can start this bad boy. It has custom water cooling and I did a video on that. So if you're interested in that, then definitely subscribe and check out the video. Oh Lord, I love you. This was my dream build. So again, if you're interested, check out my video. There's also definitely gonna be a setup tour, like an updated setup tour and an updated room tour. So again, if you're also interested in those, then subscribe. Here we are with this gorgeous screen again. Guys, I'm telling you, this is a dream. Okay, here's the review. Here's my code because I needed to change something uh, for the review. But I also did film um, the two videos I was talking about, one of me coding. Um, like the static static footage of me coding and the other one was me saying we are software engineers we do this and that and it's supposed to be funny I've done those videos before and they performed great so I decided to do more of them because you guys voted you wanted more of them and look at this so here's my mic here's my camera and here's my light just so that you also see the scene from the other side and as I was recording I got a right error I have no idea why, because my memory wasn't full, no idea what happened, but anyway, I had to refilm the whole thing again, so it made me a little bit sad. But here you can see not everything goes as you imagine it, and we have to deal with it. So if you think about content creation, it's not just like, I'm gonna sit behind the phone, I'm gonna record something, no, like you have to, you have, to have an idea, you have to have a music choice, you have to actually cut it, you have to actually kind of somehow put it out there, like you usually have to write a script or something, or at least know what you're gonna be saying. So it's not that easy, it really consumes a lot of time. And being a content creator, and a software engineer, and a PhD student, is not easy. And since my coffee is empty, it's time for another one. Oh, look who was meowing behind my door. Yeah, interrupting me every day, all day. Urf. <laughs> crazy, crazy guy. Get my second cup of coffee, my second espresso of the day. And this is actually my favorite mug. It's Christmassy and I got it from Sweden. It's Starbucks, but you know, who cares? It's pretty. So let's get back to work. If you're asking what these weird hand movements are, I was singing something. I don't know, I was in a really good mood, although I wasn't. Anyway, here I'm just working on the paper and trying to reply to the comments from my reviewers. I'm so tired, I can't anymore. I literally have to take a break because my, my head hurts. You know, you get a few sentences from every reviewer, but the few sentences are actually hours and hours and hours and hours of work. So I hope that I'll be able to submit my responses within the next, let's say, three days, hopefully. That would be really great. And then I can move on and hope that the paper is gonna get accepted. So I'm just chilling here for a while until I don't have headache anymore so I can continue working. And I just, I don't know. I've never seen people actually talking about like when you're in deep focus, you have, you get a headache. Like when you're working on reviewers comments for, for a paper you submitted, for example, it's like deep focus and I want to have it ASAP. So I'm like totally crazy and I do it until I 
die like until my hat basically can't do it anymore and then I have to take a break is it just me or is it a thing but since I am taking a break I'm gonna use it to post a video where I actually show how I transitioned from the G9 OLED to this one and posting usually takes me an hour to be honest I don't really care when I work and thank god I have flexible working hours so I don't have to work from like 8 to 4 or 9 to 5 you know just to stay alive um, I can take a break whenever I want but of course I should work the hours um, so yeah posting usually takes me around one hour and the reason for that is because I'm posting to Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts and threads and also when you post you should be interacting with the content like with interacting with the comment section so that your video draws more engagement so that's what i do and that's why it takes so long and also you know you have to write the description if it's not already in the video you cut um you have to write the description which is under the video and also you need to insert captions and these things so yeah and music um so that's why it takes so long so let's get into it okay the video is posted and i think i can get back to working on the article because i no longer have a headache so that's a good thing let's go the sun is no longer shining into this room so oh god i'm a bit depressed but i really hope that i can get at least one review done like submit my changes for one reviewer um there were three reviewers so two to go but this is like the longest review with the most changes so i really hope i could finish today if i would that would be a great accomplishment about 20 minutes until the meeting and i want to do myself a fancy latte i'm thinking chocolate with cinnamon i think that sounds good I highly recommend buying these if you want a similar drink. My savior and I can continue working, I don't know. Okay, I literally have nowhere to put my phone. Um, I do have a, I do have a gimbal, but I am not using it because I'm too lazy. Anyway, if you're asking if I did manage to uh, respond to at least one reviewer, yes, I did manage to respond to exactly one reviewer, but it was the worst one, so that's fine. And I also found out that I need to submit my review for my diploma student. I hope that I can manage to write that one today as well so that I don't have to think about it. You know, since it's my student, I know what he's done and we've been talking about it, so it shouldn't take long. I also just received instructions for tomorrow's final exam where I need to be supervising. So just so I know a bit more about my life, not each day is the same. We just had a very fruitful discussion, as you could probably see, there were some funny moments. Um, basically, we were discussing what to do with ChatGPT mostly, and we decided that the best uh, best thing to do would be to have like small tests so that the students would get assignments, complete the assignments, and if they understood what they were doing, they will be able to answer the questions in the test so that we don't have to evaluate they, their long documents each week. So it will make our work easier and it should be also better for them because they need to really understand what they're doing. And, you know, ChatGPT is going to be used as a tool in the future, I think. It must not be ChatGPT, it can be something else, but definitely AI will be a tool for us. Um, so we can't say, like, you're not allowed to use ChatGPT or control them to not use ChatGPT. That would be too difficult and it also doesn't make sense because for us what is important is that they learn and if they learn it doesn't matter if they learn from a document online or if they learn from chat gpt if the information is true so well that's about it now i'm gonna write the review for my diploma student and hopefully i can call it a day afterwards because i'm extremely tired my headache is back i had enough I am successfully done for the day, I hope. So there's nothing more I can show you. I'm honestly just gonna be like chilling, maybe watching a series or something, because it's already way too late and I am just way too exhausted to 
to do anything else so i want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching this video and if my life is of any interest to you or if you're interested in the tech content i do so if you're interested in reviews maybe seeing my setup maybe seeing my life as a software engineer my reviews and then 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 i would be so happy if you would subscribe to my channel thanks again for watching my video and i hope to see you next time bye